right here in the studio by Spencer and Ryan. Yep. Yep. Oh boy, I don't know where the heck there, Ryan. You don't have to be in the same reason. No worries. Anyhow, we are here to talk about, well, I guess loosely talk about Story Hive and promote yes. the project you two gents have going. So uh, let's just jump right on into this. First of all, you can introduce yourselves. Spencer Strykert. Yep. Uh, I'm the stunt coordinator on the Quieting, which is our amazing project that we're doing with Story Hive. Fantastic. And the writer and director of The Quieting, Mr. Ryan Drescher. Yeah. Ryan Drescher. Well, welcome to the program, guys. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Bright and early on a Tuesday morning. It's, it's awesome. nice for you to bring us. <laughs> well, first of all, let's chat really quickly about Story Hive, because there's going to be a lot of folks out there just like me who have no idea whatsoever what Story Hive is or what we're talking about right now. Well, Story Hive is a contest that TELUS puts on, and this is the second time that they're doing it, and they're awarding 15 projects in uh, Calgary and Edmonton, uh, 10 grand to make a pilot for their web series, and then of those 15 projects, then one project will get to uh, make a web series for 50 grand. So right now we're in the first stage and we're trying to win the 10 grand. Absolutely, that's fantastic. So this, I mean, it sounds, like the kind of thing that's crowd participation. This isn't just something where there's one guy in an ivory tower saying, this is the best one that wins. So it sounds like maybe this is one of those vote for your favorite type things? That is actually exactly what it is. Most of the, um, I guess, way of judging who wins and who doesn't is how many votes each project gets. So there's an entire page of all of the people who are applying and then you go online to uh, storyhive.com and you go to your region, so this is Calgary, Edmonton, and then you w can watch videos, you can read creator profiles and summaries of different projects and pick which ones you think are the best. Very cool. So um, how is this nationwide? I mean, Calgary, Edmonton is a region. How, how many more regions are there? How big is this contest? There's only Calgary, Edmonton and Vancouver. So it's Calgary, Edmonton, one region. Vancouver, yeah. another region. Yeah. Well, that alone makes me want you guys to win. I'd so, <laughs> love being with Edmonton down here. Not that there's anything wrong. I really like Edmonton, but I mean, couldn't the region just be called Alberta? Well, it'd be easier. That's yeah, especially because this time they added in like Okotoks and like the surrounding area of Calgary. It's basically just Alberta. Yeah. All right, well, Alberta versus Vancouver. Let us get this done. So, um, first year in Story Hive, guys? First experience with this? Uh, this is both of our second years, actually. I, I, uh, I applied last year on someone else's project, but his project didn't go through, so I didn't do it last year. Well, whereas uh, our project kind of dominated last year. <laughs> and right. and we, we had like 30 minutes to submit it at the last minute, and we got it in on the day of submissions were closing, and we still won. So, <laughs> well, I mean, occasionally people get lucky, that's all. But last year is last year. Let's talk about the quieting. Um, how'd you guys get involved with this project? How'd you decide to start working together? Well, uh, I originally had a short story I wrote a couple years ago that one of my buddies said I should turn into a film. And then I saw the advertisement for the new story I had this year as a web series, and I thought it would work really well as a web series. And I had met Spencer actually through NUTV next door here. And uh, we looked into each other's eyes, and that was it. That was the end. It was over. <laughs> Some of those kismet moments, basically. <laughs> Slow motion run towards each other. <laughs> all right, what's the quieting all about here? Uh, it's a sci-fi thriller. Yeah. Well, thriller. Yeah, that's a good word for it. It's um, <laughs> it's gonna be. It's all I'm told. If we get everything, it's a six-part miniseries uh, focused on sort of a post-apocalyptic world, but it's there's it's avoiding the. Uh, tropes of, you know, nuclear war and radioactivity and that sort of thing, but it basically focuses on two characters who live in uh, a security guards in this underground shelter uh, run by the previous world government that has been sort of overthrown and forced underground. Um, and they're coming into conflict with uh, the rebels who won the war in the previous uh, time and are basically harvesting, like they come down once a year, they population control, they take people, they kill people. They... So it's these two struggling to sort of come to grips with their world and the people and their beliefs and figure out what they what they can do to make things better. It's too bad you guys don't have any imagination when you're storyboarding these things. You just pick the first thing that came to mind, right? <laughs> Write what you know. More or less. So uh, 
Does this have a or does the project have a name other than the quieting? Or you do you have a company started around this? If folks are looking for you <laughs> online, what is the best way they can go and try and find out more about the quieting? Should they be looking for Spencer and Ryan Productions, or uh, what's going on here? We have a Facebook page that's entitled The Quieting. We have a, a Twitter page. We have an Instagram feed. Um, it all just entitled The Quieting. The quieting. Um, I think we're 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 starting up an R and F productions thing. Yeah. It's gonna be the, um, the figurehead for the the feed. Yeah. <laughs> you need it. I mean, it's a tax shelter, really. You just need something to hide behind. Yeah, yeah exactly. As yeah. I file away my millions, <laughs> just so that we can keep like we can do like casino where he keeps refiling and then be, like he never has to pay taxes on it. <laughs> <laughs> And if folks are looking to get out there and support this, first of all, they're going to want to watch it before they can vote. Oh, of course. How can people go and watch these uh, these Story Hive projects? They can go to storyhive.com and they can scroll down. And as soon as they get onto the page, there will be like the home page has all of the, I think it's 58 projects. Yeah. 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 It's kind of an intimidating list at the start. Yeah. But then you realize that I don't have to, like, there's no links, there's no clicking. Everything they have to offer is right here in front of me. Yeah. It's Makes literally it a just easier. a title card. Yeah. If the title card attracts your attention, you can click on the title card. It gives you the rundown of everything. You can watch a video. You can organize it by trending so you can see what's being watched most. So if you're, you know. Well, if you're one of those bandwagon jumpers who just want to know what other people are watching, <laughs> you can totally do that. Exactly. Hopefully people will like bandwagon onto ours now. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you're on the Calgary section because if there's a pull down menu that comes says Calgary and Vancouver and it usually auto defaults to Vancouver. So you won't find anybody from Calgary if you don't think that. Which is really sad because I mean like it's it's fun like I thought it would be weird if uh, like they were there was rumors that Calgary and Edmonton and uh, Vancouver would all be in like the same contest like the way it sounded before was that it was all going to be the same and that would be so unfair because there's so many people that already have their projects done in Vancouver that are now submitting just to get the money there's a couple of people that are doing that in Calgary though, that, that's not true. nearly as many but last year they had Calgary and Edmonton were two separate and each one got five awards per Calgary and per Edmonton now it's 15 per Calgary and Edmonton just to make this clear, you two aren't jerks that have got a finished project and oh, just no. submitting oh, no. this for the money. No, this we, is a no. Story Hive original, exactly. dedicated program. We haven't even started <laughs> shooting anything yet. There's well, a couple of people who think have started shooting. We've, we've been like filming like promo stuff for it. Like we've been, uh, like we hit me with a car the other day. <laughs> that was fun. I got to drive that car. It was great. It was great. All right, this might be an awkward segue then, but uh, so I'm about to say, and voting wraps up soon, so folks need to go and see these projects. Yeah. What can they see if you guys haven't started shooting anything yet? We've got a pitch video. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Very so nice. it's, the, the, uh, it's a two minute video that is supposed to represent sort of the tone um, and give a kind of an idea of what the story is going to be about without actually revealing anything. So basically, it's like buying a house. Where like you don't buy a house without a realtor. Exactly. You don't vote for Story Hive without a pitch video exactly. guiding you through. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I like this. So storyhive.com, yes. and that's where you can find the pitch video. Yeah. Yep. And to get bonus votes, we have to throw this out here because a lot of people are missing it out. If you, when you register to vote, you get six votes for one project. Five votes. No. Uh, if you if you don't if, oh if you fill out all yeah. the information if you, you fill out all the all the information you get six votes so you can jump onto the quieting you give us six votes and then you can hop over to there's a few other projects in Calgary you can hop over to who's watching Century City or one of these give them the other five that you get and you give us an extra two votes and then from there if you share it to Facebook and Twitter you get us another two so we could technically get ten votes from each person. <laughs> well, anyhow, so it's storyhive.com. What you're looking for is the quieting, and that is the future RNF Productions team. Spencer Freikart, Ryan Drescher. Yep, Thank right. you so much for coming in today, guys. Now, before we let the folks at home get over there to the computer and start filling out all this information, 30 seconds or less, give a plug for why the quieting is the greatest thing going. I'll say because Spencer got hit by a car, and that's my pitch. Well, I mean, Spencer got hit by a car. We've got a ton of fantastic people, uh, local Calgary talent that are going to be working on this that all have a lot of work under their belt. We've got great story that's coming up for it. We've got a lot of, a lot, a lot of, there's three writers working on it right now. That's a lot. It, it's, it's a fair few. <laughs> and uh, a, a lot of just really good people that are going to make this a really, a really awesome project, I think. So 
You should definitely vote for him. And I mean, last but not least, I mean, I'm in it, and I'm awesome, so... That's He's gonna fall down some stairs, at least. <laughs> the story of humility. <laughs> the young man struggled to find himself. <laughs> Spencer, Ryan, thank you so much for coming in. Best of luck. It's storyhive.com. Go vote for the choir, Academy. Let's get out there, support some live... Well, maybe not live. Support some independent theater, <laughs> some independent art here in our fair city.